Hi, uh, I'm uh, Christian Fisher, uh, and this is the first time I'm having to hold a presentation while practically sleepwalking, so I hope you can bear with me. Um, so I'm uh, from, uh, I work at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center with uh, Piotr, and for a while now I've been working on a uh, web-based uh, genome browser, uh, and I'm going to show you a demo in a, a little bit, and uh, then I'll tell you a little bit more about it and what I want to do with this biohackathon. So this is uh, a demo of the browser. Um, uh, it uh, it's, uh, runs in the br uh, web browser. It is fast and interactive, and um, it's designed for uh, designed with uh, speed and extensibility in mind, in particular. So, for example, um, right now there's this uh, SNP track of a, a, G a GUS track and uh, also annotations based on the um, significance of the SNP and the, these annotations connect out to, okay, never mind this, here. These annotations have some additional data and uh, connect out to external resources. So um, this is this browser is written in pure script, which I chose because I uh, didn't actually know much about genetics. So I chose a tool that let me quickly work and uh, uh, iterate on and improve my knowledge in the uh, in the area. Um, and as you saw, it was uh, it's written with interactivity in mind, both. Uh, for easy exploration and zooming into the data, as well as interactivity in the sense that um, users should be able to interact with uh, additional pieces of data, like the annotations, which connect out to external resources. Um, the source code itself is meant to be uh, quite generic and uh, extensible. The architecture is, I've uh, worked hard on uh, making sure that it is easy to add entirely new tracks and change the uh, system quite extensively. And uh, as you saw, it's also quite fast and uh, uh, I've worked hard to make sure that it actually runs at 60 FPS. So um, right now there are, it's just that simple GWAS track with the annotations. But uh, one thing I really want to work on is adding an additional uh, genome uh, graph variant uh, visualization track um, and also possibly working more on the track interactivity and data connectivity because it would be very interesting to not only show a variant graph uh, visualization but also in some ways connecting it back to for example a GWAS track and uh, that's what I had thank you <laughs>